All right, welcome back. Um, today we'll be looking at worksheet number two, part number 12. Um, for this one, I will start by creating this shape here. I will then come back and add in this box with the hole through it. All right, so this point is where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start by going down my inch and a quarter. I know that it's inch and a quarter because 5 eighths and 5 eighths is an inch and a quarter or 1.25. So I'm gonna go down by 1.25. But then I need to determine how long this line is, right? If my overall, if my overall is five, and I'm gonna subtract 0.75 minus 0.75, right? I've subtracted both of these. This distance is 3.5. So I'm gonna go down 1.25 to the left 3.5. I've got on shape opened up. I'm going to click create, document. This is part 12. I'm going to add a new sketch to my front, getting that sketch plane. On my left hand side here, I can turn these three eyes off. Get my front, start point, again right there. I'm going down 1.25 to the left. 3.5 and it goes up two and a half and if I go back to my blueprint here there is no dimension but there is a dimension here I cannot add this dimension until after the fact so I'm just going to draw these last two lines it comes over a little ways and then it goes down All right but you notice I still have a blue line that means I'm missing a dimension on my blueprint I have a 45 degree angle so what I can do is click on dimension Click on that blue line and this black line below it. That allows me to type in my 45 degree angle. Finish sketch, go to my isometric view, and I can extrude this piece. This piece gets extruded my 1.5. Right. Next up, we need to add in this box with the hole through it. That box, you'll notice, is along that back side. So I'm going to go to my back side, and I'm going to add my new sketch on the back side. What I can do is use my rectangle tool right here. From this point, I'm going to create a rectangle. I know that my height is going to be the same as my other one, so it's going to be 1.25, and my width here is going to be 1.5. Once I click, it allows me to type in that dimension, so 1.5, and that other dimension is 1.25. Right, but I do have a circle in the middle. What I can do, the easiest way to do it, is find that middle here, find that middle here, bring my cursor up, and that gives me my center point. The size of the circle, if I look at my blueprint, is 5 eighths. So once I click, there's my opportunity to enter my number. I can type it in as a fraction, 5 eighths, and it gives me that 0.625 or 5 eighths circle. Finish sketch, go to my isometric view. I'm going to extrude just this object. Notice again it goes the wrong way, so I'm going to switch it, and my extrusion for that piece is 3 fourths or 0.75. and hit my green check. There is part number 12 on worksheet number two. Thank you.